guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be creating this fun look. I personally wouldn't wear this out to public. This is really just my fun Instagram look that makes me very, very happy and excited. Really loved using today's palette, which is the Essence Beauty. This is their Hey LA palette that I shared with you guys in my haul. If you haven't watched it, I'll definitely link it right up here for you guys. Definitely watch it. I definitely did share so many fun products in that huge haul for you guys. So this palette right here, you guys is absolutely affordable and this is how much it costs I personally purchased this at Ulta Beauty website and I really really love this it is a very travel friendly it is sleek and sturdy it is your cardboard packaging absolutely love the fact that it comes with a mirror for the amount of money you're paying you get about nine shades in here you guys and I would call them matte like this right here is the only matte that I would call it everything else in here is either metallic or silky smooth this palette I really had fun creating this look you guys I absolutely loved blending them into one another and really had so much fun I actually created a halo look if you notice I was going for the bold purple pink metallic color in the palette but I ended up using one more shade right on top of that into the center my main goal was to use as many shades as possible in one look so I can test it out to be honest with you other than this orange shade as well as this matte shade right here I ended up using a rest of the shades into this look the shades in this palette blend very very smooth the texture of it is very buttery silky smooth texture and I really enjoyed blending that without further ado let's get right on to the video Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our Benefit Browsings Pro Palette. I actually had so much fun using this. This was my very first time and I was really looking forward to it. I'm gonna carve out using Makeup Revolution Concealer Palette. As you can tell by looking at the palette that I really love using it. To set my brows in place, I did decide to use my Benefit Give Me Brow Gel and I really love the way my brows look today. All right, now let's start glowing. We're gonna go ahead and start with Too Faced Hangover Primer, you guys. I really am looking forward to investing in full size one of these. I really love the way it felt on my skin today. It smells amazing as well as the texture of it. It really made my skin feel flawless as well as hydrating. Usually I would mix something within my foundation, but I wanted to give this a go today, which is Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Liquid Highlighter. And the shade I have here is the Gilded Glow. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it wherever I want the main attention, and I'm gonna blend it out with a crown spoon brush. Once I'm done looking like a tin man, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my foundation, which is MAC Cosmetic Studio Fix Foundation. The shade I have here, NC40, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that using a beauty blender all over my face. For whatever reason, since the last time I used it, I feel like my taste in coverage has really changed and I love full coverage foundations, and this really does not do that unless you use a brush. For the concealer, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try out my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer, and I will tell you, I really had fun applying that and blending that onto my skin it did an amazing and a flawless job I would definitely would be repurchasing this this was an amazing amazing concealer and it ended up lasting me all day long the shade by the way I'm using is light 50 W now we're gonna go ahead and set all of this highlight in using Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm gonna go ahead and take that onto this flat setting brush and I'm gonna apply that pretty much wherever I highlighted and rest of the face we're gonna go in cream contour first and for that I will be using today wet n wild cream contour in where's walnut and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that very um, very lightly today and then blend it out using an elf cosmetics angled brush To set the rest of the face, I'm going to go ahead and take Smashbox Hello Hydrating Perfecting Powder in shade medium. For that bronze look, I'm going to go ahead and take my Cheek Stars Reunion Tour Palette by Benefit Cosmetics. Yes, it smells amazing. I'm going to go ahead and start with the Hula Bronzer onto the Sephora brush and bronze my face. 
All right, you guys, to contour my nose, I will be taking my beloved Sigma Large Fluffy E50 brush, and I will also be taking this Hula bronzer from this palette, which both of these items have been my staple products whenever it comes to contouring my nose. From this very same palette, we'll be mixing two blushes like always, and I am taking Sugar Bomb and Georgia together. To contour my face, I'm going to go ahead and take the Palladio Contour Palette. Like always, I'm going to go ahead and mix all three shades together. I will now be taking the lightest shades from this palette to brighten and also to clean any harsh edges. I will now be taking a clean blending brush which is my contour brush and I like to go over once I'm done contouring and everything to make sure there are no harsh edges. For the eyeshadow base I am taking LA Girl Concealer in Creamy Beige and I'm going to go and blend that with a beauty blender. As you guys can tell by the title today, we are using Essence Cosmetics Hey LA. That is the eyeshadow palette. You guys, these are beautiful, beautiful colors. And this is the first shade I decided to use as my transition, which by the way, I almost stopped at just this shade because this is such a beautiful shade. It is so pigmented. It is so satin feel, like very smooth texture that I just wanted to go ahead and create maybe wings or just put on falsies and call it a day. Like it's that kind of shade. So I absolutely love this for the depth and drama taking this darker shade I'm taking that onto a shading brush today for a change to make sure that I pack it and pack it enough to the depth that I would desire I will then be taking my Luxie blending brush and I'm gonna just blend the outer edges To blend it further and create more of a fused look together, I will be taking a Sigma Beauty blending brush and I'm going to take a little bit of color, not too much, just a little bit of color will do and I'm going to go ahead and start blending it out. Once you see the both transition colors have married together, we are now ready to move on to the next step, which is to create a cut crease and I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Now the fun part. I'm gonna go ahead and take this pigmented pink magenta shade onto this shading brush. This one is by BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna go ahead and pack that right on top of that paint pot. To make this look even more fun, I decided to take Stila Cosmetics. This is their Glitter and Glow in Kitten Karma. And I decided to use a brush this time. I'm gonna go ahead and use my liner brush and apply that just along my cut crease. Once then I felt like I was missing something and I decided to go with this lighter shade and I apply that right into the center of my eye using just my finger. Usually I like to use my MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus and you guys this time I didn't use any of that. So all of this pigment is popping just itself. I will be taking MAC Cosmetics Vanilla Pigment to pop it right in the corner of my eyes and you guys I am in so much love with this look already. I'm going to go ahead and take this lighter shade pink and this is actually a matte shade but still has a satin texture to it. I'm gonna go and take that onto a shading brush and apply that to my lower lash line. I will now be taking a fluffier brush and taking this beautiful lavender shade to blend all of my lower lash line shade out. Now I'll be taking my mascara, which is L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and I'm gonna go ahead and coat those lashes. I will now be taking the Illuminati Gel Paint Pencil. This is a bright pink, neon pink, if you will. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right into my waterline, you guys, and it applied so smoothly, and it was also very easy to clean afterwards as well. I really needed some matte shade, so I went for this Juvia palette, which was already on my desk from last video. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that onto a flat definer brush and just run that very lightly along my lash line. The lashes I am using today is Vegas Name by our lower, The Grand Glamour. I will now be coating my lower lashes. To make this look pop even more, I am taking NYX Cosmetics Glitter Glue and I will be taking these heart sequins and I'm going to pop them just under my eyes. For the lips, you guys, I was really wondering what would look so good with this. So I decided to use either one of these lipstick, but then ended up going with both of them. This is Stila Cosmetics. This is their Bachi lipstick, B-A-C-I, in case if I am saying this wrong. I'm going to go and apply that, which is a very beautiful lavender nude, one of my favorite. And the second shade is by Kat Wandi, which is called Backstage Bambi. If you want, you 
can opt in for definitely two different kinds of shades or your favorites and pretty much go with the same tips and techniques that I am using. I went ahead with the nude shade first and then applied the darker shade which is the brighter neon color just to the outer corners and I'm going to go ahead and just blend it with my finger. If you feel like you went a little too much, you're always welcome to go back with the nude shade, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and just apply that and then go over it with my highlighter for that extra glow. So guys, this is how I achieved today's lips. So for the highlight, just in case if you missed, I am using the Cheek Star Reunion Tour Palette and the shade I have here by Benefit is Cookie. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply that onto the higher points of my cheekbones. To finish it all off and to set it in place, I am taking Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, one of my very, very favorite. All right, you guys, so this right here completes today's glam. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment box down below what are your thoughts on this look? Would you wear this out in the public? The next palette I am so excited to bring to you guys is the Pacifica Beauty, so definitely subscribe to my channel so you can see what I would come up with this palette right over here. I am super excited, super pumped to create another wonderful look for you guys. Definitely subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.